Leicester's Dan Leicester, and then we'll do a podcast. Carsten says Woodward. 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 This is a 77 kilo fight. Yes, sir. Dog. It's the welterweight division closing out the um, the Battle Arena Gloucester. Steve, card. I think you've told me before, welterweight's your favorite. Can you justify why it's your favorite? Uh, Matt Hughes, GSP, BJ Penn, now Kamaru Usman. But mostly because I always thought that I would grow a bit taller and I would be <laughs> in that division. So when I first came over to the UK, I fought at welterweight just because I wanted to fight at welterweight. I'd weigh in at like 72 kilos and be like, that's okay, I'll weigh in at 77. And then I'd fight people at welterweight. It went well for a little while and then it didn't. So I went down to lightweight. But it, it just, it's a cool weight. You want to be a lightweight or you want to be a welterweight? Like, it just sounds cool. It's like <laughs> cruiserweight. It just sounds cool. And we saw uh, Outlaw MMA come out earlier with uh, Toby Outlaw. He came out earlier and got that triangle to armbar combination that really impressed me. It was, and, uh, it was very slick, excellent work. And, and I was they showed that they could fight in all ranges. Sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry. I was just gonna say I was impressed by the corner work of Outlaw MMA because they didn't constantly their corners right next to the the commentary booth here. And I was looking over, going, they're not really telling their fighter anything. And then I realised they were only saying something when it was relevant and important. And that's great cornering. That is spectacular cornering. You can over corner. <laughs> Local lad Kieran Williams gonna have the crowd supporting him here at Gloucester. Yep, they're all gonna be here chanting his name. And it's a full house in here and ready to go. Seen some high kicks being thrown there by Jack Woodard. Looks like he's got a lot, a lot of tools in the toolkit. And Kieran Williams wants to spoil that party. And he's got the whole hometown behind him. It's funny, Steve, how we get this little look at the fighters sometimes where they're just shadow boxing, waiting for their opponents to come out. And like, you can just tell, you can tell by the little shadow boxing wrestling shots of Jack Woodward. That he's done that a lot, you know. It's very smooth, very well drilled. So he's looking. But this is something that I want to. It's like a technical issue, maybe a pet peeve. Dropping to your knee on a shot, unless you're Khabib Nurmagomedov or like some super standout wrestler, is not a great idea. You've yep. dropped your hips low, you've dropped your shoulders low, and given them gravitational superiority. You've heard that term here first, folks. It means they can pretty much lean on you. And something we worked a lot of when I was wrestling in high school and university was if you shoot in and they get sprawled on is to post a hand down, hold onto a leg and work your way back up. So get back up to your feet and not so, so that your shoulders are lower than your hips, but power up and through them almost like you're, you're moving up like an airplane taking off. Oh, there we go. Williams, Kieran Williams getting the crowd working. I've seen that, that whole table has been waiting for him the whole night and they'll be cheering nice and loud, but yes. Don't shoot onto your knees, folks. It's all about Greco and the upper body clinch nowadays. Good thing to
Woodard in the black, Williams in the gray. Williams is huge for his weight division, Steve. He did look it coming in, definitely. A lot bigger, a lot of movement too, so possibly just somebody that really capitalized on the weight cut yesterday. This is our main event here in Gloucester, a co-main event with a huge banger. Will this live up to the hype? Immediately Woodard comes out, and come out south on the switches stances. He's a leg. He's happy, leg kick. happy to shift. It's Kieran Jack Woodard. Oh, Woodard's movement and his kicks have looked really good in the first few seconds. Williams very composed, looking for that one-two down the middle. Nice kick again from Woodard. Another one onto the open side. It's right in the liver. Oh, nice the kick, kick kick damaged by Williams. Williams. Woodard is in trouble. I think Woodard was stunned with that right hand. Woodard looks really sharp, but Williams is swinging for the fences and has some serious power in all of his strikes. Woodard's doing really well here to keep that head under the chin. Should try to keep the body lock if he can. This is something I've learned from working with you, Steve, how important that head position is when we're clinched up against the cage. I stole that from Sam Greasy. <laughs> it was a really good way of learning how to wrestle against the cage. Just a, a type of dominant control in terms of position and posture. And now we see that get a little bit lax on it. And Williams is all over the break. Guard is up high for Williams. Woodard looking to land to the body. Yeah. Pays dividends. It's like compound interest in a fight. Williams looking slightly more tired of the two, but still sharp. Ooh, there you go. I like Woodard's kicks. So you don't know where they're going. Are they going to the body or are they going to the leg or the head? <laughs> Williams has got power in his, though. Yeah, I think Williams has a bit of a tell. He's dropping his head every time he's trying to get into a firefight. What kind of size is playing off? Oh, oh, big takedown. Take take he shot from miles away. Big risk, but it worked. Williams is on top. But short time left in the round. But this could clinch in the round, too. Great work from him getting his takedown. We have seen the outlaw MMA team be effective off their back before. Yeah. So that triangle armbar combination you alluded to in the lead up to this fight, Chris. He's controlling that wrist, maybe looking for something similar now, but just not enough time really to continue it. Yeah, at the very least, he's taking no damage in that position. Yeah, he's setting up the triangle just the same, holding the wrist. Look at that. Hold the wrist and then pop the head. Very active work from his back yeah, there. Very active work from the guard. Yeah, Williams got the takedown, but couldn't really do anything with it. Woodard was nice and active off his back. I'm just left with more questions now. I want them to be answered in the second round. Is is Williams going to be able to figure out Woodard's tendency to shift and is he going to land more leg kicks? Is Woodard going to start catching Williams when he's starting to nod his head? So is there a snap kick coming up the middle or uppercuts or is he just going to start aiming his right or left hand a little bit lower onto the chest? They can't really work out if Woodard is just a bit small for the weight division so Williams is just massive. And you saw that there when the, the takedown came into it so yeah. look, look for him to go to that well again. Still, it's still got some water in it. Coming for the final, final few moments. Again. Yeah, I would be careful taking down Woodard. We know that he's super effective off his back under hedge coat. Mark Woodard. choose to kick early so I can obviously invite the takedown he's, he's a great kicker he mixes up levels mixes up legs mixes up attacks his Williams is a bit more predictable but he's got a little bit more power by the looks of it oh beautiful timing by Woodard well done onto the leg 
Williams doing well to pull him up. He's back in that upper body clinch, head position really well. Gives away the underhook, but it's easy to get away on that side. Williams doing a great job of putting pressure on him. Landing those knees. Oh, just the power of Williams. She reverses him into the cage there. Good technique by Williams as well to turn this around, get him against the cage. What I preach about Wooded is he's very calm and composed the whole time. Nice knee by Williams. Yeah, Wooded with the underhooks. That was the moment to suck it in and pull him out and take him down. He did manage to reverse the position. Up into the body, up into the knees. Lovely. Get the leg trip. Try to drag it out. That's hard to do. Nice, Hit nice. Throw, but the wizard by Wood and Minnick can get back to his feet. Very powerful move. Very powerful. Very strong from Woodard to stand back up. He digs the underhook and he's looking to turn it again. Drag oh. to the floor. Such power from Kieran Williams. Yeah, and doesn't appear to be tired either. And keep this frenetic pace and power up. Now we've got a minute and 20 to work off of our back here. Does Woodard and Woodard's. It's already wrapped the arm. Got that control. It means that Williams can only hit him with his left arm here because his right arm is tied up. And it means that if Woodard can get his right leg over Williams' left arm, he's going to be able to put him in a dangerous position. Yeah, can we, is Williams going to take it? Or can Woodard spoil the party? So you've got to think he's down around now. Woodard did a great job of staying in the face of Woodard. Stopping any of these submissions coming up. Sometimes if you're looking to pass, that's where the jiu-jitsu guy can catch you. Some hoist Gracie style kicks from the bottom from Woodard. Just a trouble you try to get you to lose focus for a few moments so you can pop your hips over. See, I like this. He's not just relying on closed guard. He's got open guard. He's being very active off his back. But Williams is going to be so hard to catch. He's got great positioning. Now we're back in the closing seconds of this round again. Lots of time, but lots of riding time here from Williams, but not a lot done. And there's the triangle set up. Last few moments of this round. <laughs> oh, with such a short time left. It's a super bar. tight triangle with one second to go. Oh, what a, how does that affect the judges' scorecards? Oh, I think the judges got to give it then to Woodard. Because yep. that was a finishing position right at the end of the round. I think he's gonna, he's got to be a round apiece. I think other than that, it was all 50-50. But you've got to give the triangle, you've got to, that's got to mean more on the scorecards than the takedown. Surely. Surely, you would hope so. But then again, it is... Marty Wolf. <laughs> it is Marty Wolf. <laughs> Shout out to Marty. He's the good, uh, he's the good judge here. I wouldn't say the bad one. He's not the worst. <laughs> Alright, last few seconds, last few bits of instruction, a cut being seen to in the corner of Kieran Williams. Jack Woodard, still looking fresh, looking like he wants to get in there. Last round, last fight of the afternoon. Evening, pardon me. Nice respect between these two fighters. They're gonna put it all out there for this last round. Would have come in strong. He wants this. Yeah. Just the physicality of William. This is the problem. Very strong. Can he pick him up? Can he take him down? And he can. He answers that question again, but there's a oh. butterfly hook here. He's elevating him. See, he's got to be doubly careful of that triangle yeah. now. That triangle was so close and it's just run out of time. Now Woodard's got two and a half minutes to work off his back. Can he get something going? I know he'd love to be able to throw up his submission and catch Williams, but Williams just stays so safe, stays in the middle, keeps his weight forward. Woodard just looking for the angle all the time. You gotta see a lot of a lack of activity really here from Williams. Is yeah, there we go? We saw, see a bit there. We're doing well to push away with that hip, foot on the hip. 
Oh. Tries it out from the plaza, maybe. He tried out a little go of the triangle again. Because he went for the triangle, he's lost his guard, but he's hitting from the bottom. Oh, beautiful. Williams nearly passed. Stunning jiu-jitsu off his back for Woodard. Yeah, very impressive. Very active. Very dangerous. It's going to be interesting. Once again, how the judges score. Look, Woodard going for a bit of rubber guard. I mean, he's trying anything to get something going on Williams. Williams, Williams just trying to smother him, right? Stifle him. Such a slippery character now in round three. Everyone's sweaty and tired. He's trying to get anything going. He can't quite yet. There we go. Oh, oh, another setup, another attempt. Big, oh, a sweep almost. Back to Butterfly. <laughs> I'm loving the guard work of Woodard. But Williams is, Williams is landing shots. He is hitting from the top. He is holding him down. Very strong. Very. Just, just in terms of how this is going to be scored. With the only 30 seconds big. left. Can he get another Hail Mary triangle and steal the round? I'd like to see this. Oh, he's got the arm there. Can he 20, angle off? 20 seconds to go. He's got to try and get something as wooded. Even if he could just stand up from here. But being held down for so long. Oh. It's almost over. Oh, and some, there's some, a bit of an exclamation point on the fight there for Kieran Williams. So how will it be in the judges' minds? Is it Woodard? Is it Williams? This has been your main event here at Ballerina Gloucester and what an evening of action we have had culminating in this fantastic main event. It's such a pleasure to call these fights, especially with you, Mr. Steve Brinkman. Oh, Chris, it's always, always a pleasure. You make it easy, mate. But <laughs> you saw a big show of respect there from our two warriors in the middle of the cage. We go to the judges' scorecards and honestly, it's all to play for. It's, it's all up to them, really, but it's a shame that there's not another round again for these two, two warriors. But maybe... Just a bit outsized there for Kieran Woodard. He was got a lot going off of his back. It would have been nice to see what he could do with a, an offensive takedown of his own. Just really good takedowns. Yeah, Kieran I'm a big Jiu-Jitsu fan. Woodard was super active on his back, looking for sweeps and submissions, but I can see how they could give him round two. But I think round one and three, all Williams. It's still a fantastic fight. And uh, a great performance by these two Warriors, Williams and Woodard. Here we go, an interview on his fighters, Steve, and I think we'll probably be signing off. I'm here with your winner, Jack Woodard. Jack, I'm going to try to talk to you over the shouts and screams of your fans there. It was just an incredible fight. You were so active off your back. Were you, were you just disappointed you couldn't finish the triangle there in the second round? Uh, now, normally like in training and whatnot, I've got good gaps. So when people take me down, like I said, I work on being active off my guard. But like, we have a three-way three principle in my gym. You either get up, sweep, or submit. And normally I'm good at all three. I just felt like I couldn't get them tonight. He's a big, strong boy. Um, I was just pissed off. Sorry for swearing. I was just annoyed that um, he was able to control me for as long as he was. But I mean, 
I'd say to win, um, it feels more like a loss to me because I expect like high expectations for myself. But I've been two years out in a cage, so to go three hard rounds against a guy that's had almost double my fights, um, it means a lot. All the guys here, all the support means the world to me. But yeah, on to the next, a lot of learning to do and a lot of growing to do. Well, Jack, it was definitely a very entertaining fight. We'll look forward to seeing you back here in the Battle Arena cage. Yeah. Is there anyone particularly you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to my dad, um, Mark Woodard. I feel like he's often forgot about in the UK MMA scene. But trust me, this guy's a, a flipping genius. Um, he, he's paid his dues. So I'm just trying to carry the Woodard name and do big things for sort of UK MMA in general. And uh, hopefully, a uh, shout out to my team as well, Ash. Uh, my, my teammate Toby won by armbar tonight and my, my teammate Felix. All the guys in my foundation class that I teach, all the guys at the gym that come out and show big love, all the people that come out today. So a big thank you to everyone. It makes it worthwhile. Well, we're going to look forward to those big things from Jack Woodard. Keep the Woodard name in your mind and we'll see him next time. Thank you very much, Jack. We'll see you very, very soon. Now just to bring in a very good looking fellow. We haven't been on camera yet today. Uh, Chris, what a great night. I'll, I'll start first, probably my favorite moment of the night. Uh, I, I'd like to say it's Joe Bonacisa, you know, pulling off that triangle on top against a very game opponent in Joe Gascoigne, you know, really carrying that traditional martial arts forward. I know I'm putting you on the spot. What was your favorite moment? I think Lorenzo Armstrong earlier, that incredible head kick finish. It's such a war of two guys that wanted to stand and bang. And it just, it, the atmosphere here in Gloucester was electric. And anyone at home, thank you for watching us live on pay-per-view. But next time, try and get to the event. Watching in person is so incredible. And if you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you will find out about future Battle Arena events. Steve, have you had a good evening? I've had a great evening, Chris. So I'll say it was a good night, but great fights. And that's goodbye for me. That's good night from me. Thank you for watching.